Okay, uh, we're here today as a uh, concerned Catholic lady um, and we're uh, praying here today, prayer vigil, against uh, the um, approach of RTE, the unbalanced, biased approach in relation to all matters of faith and morals. So this is a letter we are going to hand in uh, to Miss D. Forbes, Director General RTE, Donnybrook, Dublin 4, the 11th of April, 2020. Prayer Vigil at RTE, Tuesday, the 11th of August, three fake news promotion. Dear Miss Forbes, as Catholics, we are seriously distressed at the malign influence of RTE as the state broadcaster. This influence has been seriously at odds with the truth of God for a lot of years. The preamble to the Irish Constitution best outlines this. Preamble to the Irish Constitution. In the name of the Most Holy Trinity, from whom is all authority, and to whom, as our final end, all actions, both of men and states, must be referred. We, the people of Era, humbly acknowledging all our obligations to our Divine Lord Jesus Christ, who sustained our fathers through centuries of trial, gratefully remembering their heroic and unremitting struggle to regain the rightful independence of our nation and seeking to promote the common good with due observance of prudence, justice and charity so that the dignity and freedom of the individual may be assured, true, order, true social order attained and the unity of our country restored, concord established with other nations, do hereby adopt an act and give ourselves this constitution. It is abundantly clear that you have been promoting a liberal equals anti-God agenda for a number of years, particularly in relation to matters of sexual morality. This was very obvious in relation to the two referenda in recent years when a totally biased propaganda campaign was run by your station and people representing the truth of God were mocked and blocked from participation in programs. In, again in recent years, the mass immigration policies of the EU are accepted without question, and anyone questioning these erroneous policies is derided so that no proper balanced debate can be held. There is a huge history between the Catholic Church and Islam. Starting with the Crusades, you then had the major battles. Uh, Pottier's Tours in 732 was a major battle. 1571 was the famous Battle of Lepanto, and 1683 again the famous Battle of Vienna. Then we have the great Eucharistic miracle of St. Clair and the Saracens. These invasions were resisted by Catholics seeking to avoid the abject capitulation to the cult of Islam. Islam does not recognize that Jesus was God and regard all believers and followers of Jesus as infidels to be converted by force, even to death. How, given our history, can we as a continent uh, invite the invaders in and roll out the red carpet for them as was done in Crow Park and in the mass immigration policies of the EU. In addition, the promotion of erroneous sexual education in our schools is supported by your station and anyone questioning such erroneous policies is again mocked as being far right. But as the truth in the above preamble confirms, the ways of God are the only way as our lives are eternal. Your station promotes all attacks on the Catholic Church, which is the one true church established by Jesus. Your policies in this regard have had a huge impact on the practice of faith, and as the preamble points out, each one of us must account to God at our final end, or in a much prophesied illumination of conscience, which could occur at any time, giving the descent of our world into utter chaos due to the disastrous globalist policies which your station slavishly promotes. Since March, your coverage of the COVID-19 issues is seriously against all right reason, and once again your station is a propaganda arm for government policies, which are promoted without question. Attached is an email dated the 3rd of the 720 from the Civil Registration Service, confirming that total deaths this year in Ireland January to May are lower than in any of the previous five years. It is clear from any objective look at what is happening globally that something very seriously is amiss in the propaganda surrounding this pandemic. And your station is completely failing the public who pay their license fees. 
You are promoting vaccines which are untested and which have a very malign purpose, which is to manipulate and control all the peoples on earth for nefarious purposes, which are one, once again anti-God and anti-truth. As we pray for your safety today, we do so as Catholics who denounce your policies, and we are invoking the powers of God to bring about a great awakening in the people within your station and the general public. Yours in Christ Jesus, Paddy Early, on behalf of concerned Catholic laity. So, we're offering up this rosary just to repeat what Paddy said um, against all the evil that's been promulgated by our uh, by our state national broadcaster. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of your mercy.